Hey everybody, Sports Live and ATL on this Friday. Weekend is about here, y'all. I plan on having a fabulous weekend, as I always do. Uh, subscribe to the channel, everybody. Click that red little subscribe button. Uh, notification bell so you know when all the content uploads. I do plan on streaming uh, the NFC Divisional games, both of them, uh, tomorrow night. Uh, uh, New York Giants at the Philadelphia Eagles. And on Sunday night, Dallas Cowboys at the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, obviously, I'm pulling for Dallas and pulling for the G-Men to pull off victories. Uh, I do, there's a possibility I will be streaming tonight, the Knicks and the Hawks. Again, I did say uh, that I would start streaming the Hawks as soon as they start playing better. I mean, I'm not saying the Hawks have to win every game, but they have to look like they're trying and and win more than they're losing and right now they got a four game winning streak beat four really good teams uh culminating at dallas the other night so i'm gonna play the knicks tonight and uh the game's at 7 30 so if i do stream it it might be somewhere in the first quarter i don't think i'll get there in time for the start uh so just stay tuned to the channel now this video right here is a response to a wolf a1 all day a1 aka l falcons los how you doing, my dude? Uh, he did a video a couple days ago. I just got a chance to watch it yesterday, uh, talking about Atlanta Falcons video makers supporting each other and the popular Falcon video makers supporting each other. Uh, a lot of respect for Wolf. A lot of respect for you, my dude. Uh, I, I found you early on, and I'm glad to see that your name is out there and everything. Uh, I agree with you completely. Okay, I, I, I posted a comment under your video uh, I am. I never said that I was the best Atlanta Falcons video content creator, but I am one of the best. I have been here the longest, consistently since 2009. Not one Atlanta Falcon video maker that I know, that I know, streams Atlanta Falcon games. And I've been doing that for years. Streams Atlanta Hawks games. Been doing that for years. Streams Georgia Bulldog games. Been doing that for years. Atlanta Braves. Uh, games been doing that for years even atlanta united most of the atlanta atlanta sports video content creators come on here and just give their opinions on stuff and hold podcasts and i respect that because i i do that too but i go above and beyond i not only give atlanta sports fans georgia sports fans videos premieres and and uh panels i give them the game i give them the reactions that all of us go through on a game-to-game -game basis. I do it live. So, do I consider myself one of the big ones? Absolutely. You name me one video maker in the Atlanta realm that has been doing it as long as I have. Whether they like me or not, I'll wait. Comment below, please. Um, but to, to reply to your video and your in your uh, content on it, I agree. Uh, a lot of good, good popular channels, YouTube video makers, content creators for Atlanta sports don't really interact with each other. Okay. I've tried. I have said this a million times. I've, I, I've done things with Don and I'm only going to mention the names of the people that I really respect that I've interacted with still and, and continue Don from forever sport, feel a sports podcast. Now I don't interact with that channel anymore because the guys that are over there now don't interact with me. Uh, for whatever reason, it just faded off. But Don will always have my 100% support. So Don, I know I got you on other outlets. I'm happy for how your life is going, bro. If you see this, I'll definitely hit you up again. If you ever need me to do some sports stuff with you, I got you. This dude right here had a really good uh, content uh, video channel, Forever Phyllis Sports Podcast. And this dude... Actually, I met, too. He came over to my house. We did a little podcast thing with uh, Where You Hiding. Uh, one of the very few big video makers representing Atlanta sports that has taken the time to support my channel and do things with me and vice versa. Got a lot of respect for him, man. A lot of love for you, Don. I hope you know that. A um, couple other video channels out there. I will not mention those channels because they don't come over here. Um... Again, my, my view on it is, Wolf, is that 
the bigger you get as a channel, the more attitude and cockiness that you do get. And I'm not saying I'm not cocky or I'm not arrogant. I am, you know, because I've worked hard on my channels. I've had three of them. I've been, I was able to bust out of the drama and get into just basic sports. And my channel does good for that. My channel gets a lot of, a lot of traffic. It gets a lot of new Atlanta sports fans. And I appreciate every single one that comes into my game streams all these years, whether it's Hawks, Braves, Georgia Falcons, Heat, I mean, United, etc., who look forward to what I do. And my chat interacts with everybody. Um, but the reason why, I'm just speaking for myself, the reason why I don't interact with the big channels is not because of me. It's because they don't want to interact with me. I have gone over to every channel, you know, uh, that there is out there, and at one point or another have gotten their attention. I've been on a couple panels, you know, promoted myself. They enjoyed what they, what they saw, but they, they've never come to my channel afterwards. So a lot of these big channels are like, what can you do for me? It's all about me. Okay? I'm not, I'm not like that. Now, yes, I want subscribers. I believe my channel should have a lot more subscribers than it does. Why it's in the, in the, in the medium, I have no idea. But I am appreciated, appreciative of all 3,440-something subscribers. That's a lot. Whether half of them are ghost counts now... The fact that these those people at one point subscribed to my channel means a lot to me. Because um, I know when I do a game stream or video on sports and everything, I know I'll get the audience. And I appreciate it because I enjoy interacting with them. That's why I do all these things, you know, for them. But it's not like Wolf. It's not like I don't, I haven't tried to get with these people. The reason why I stick with the smaller channels is because the smaller channels I appreciate, like yours. Very underrated. Toxic Falcons, very underrated. Rise Up ATL, very underrated. Falcon Fan Forever, very underrated. Um, uh, who else does Atlanta sports? Uh, Vic Tube, very underrated. Dylan Blurton, very underrated. These guys rep Atlanta sports with passion. Laugh Not Famous. Kind of noticed out there, but still very underrated. That's why I'm trying to start this Falcons group to all y'all. Is because I like supporting the channels who grind. Who haven't gotten to that point where they think they're better than everybody. And there are some big channels who think they're above everybody else. That their opinion matters. Nobody else's opinion matters. If And I've heard this. I don't want drama, negativity on my channel. What? What do you consider negativity and drama? A Falcon fan like myself, voicing the displeasure of the Falcons, certain players, the Hawks, the Braves. Don't bring that dang negativity to my channel. I've been blocked on some because I don't kiss their butt. You know, you got radio shows out there. Constantly, 92.90 games, 680 the fan, I disagree. They don't get blocked. So you're trying to tell me, in order for me uh, to be supported by you and all of y'all... I have to kiss your butt. I have to say that everything you say is accurate. No, I'm sorry. That's not what I do. I don't break things down unless I have to. If I feel an Atlanta sports team or a Georgia sports team is screwing up, the players, the coaches, I'm going to say it. Just because you guys have one opinion doesn't mean I have to agree. A lot of the Atlanta sports content creators, the higher ones, don't know how to debate. Unless you agree with them, they don't like you. They don't want to have anything to do with your channel. Now, the smaller ones, they, they are okay to disagree and debate. That's what it's called. You know, if, if you can't handle debating and all, then you shouldn't be doing this. You know, because God knows people disagree with me all the time. But I don't not support them because of it. I don't support the ones who don't care about what I have to offer. You know, I'm Sports Live in the ATL. I'm not YouTube. I'm not Atlanta Falcons. I'm not Atlanta Braves, Hawks, whatever. I'm me. I'm Slitta. And I rep my teams the way that I want. I try to give everybody a fair shot. If there's a channel out there that I feel is uh, is good, I go over there, comment, say hello, blah, blah, blah. If they have a stream yard, can I come on in? And if I do, 
I let them know who I am. We talk, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's up to you after that if you want to interact with me. I'm not forcing nobody, but I'm not going to kiss your butt either. You know where I am. You know what my channel name is. I don't got to sneak this nobody. I, I mentioned those names before in the past, but I don't feel a reason to mention them anymore because, like I said, they're not over here. Now, now a lot of those high video content creators, they do really good work. And I'm open to do stuff with them, but they're going to have to come to me now. I'm not going to come over to you. I've tried before. You know, I'm not a follower. I'm a leader. I lead by example. I do it the right way. I support channels that are that are starting. I support channels that are legit. I support channels that are fair. I support channels that have passion and loyalty. A lot of respect for you, my dude. Like I said, I hope, like I said, I'm thinking about starting my own Atlanta Falcons group. Wolf, you're invited. Toxic Falcon, Rise Up ATL, Laugh Not Famous, Falcon Fan Forever, Vic Tube, Dylan Blurton, you know, CC Ryder. Y'all are invited. The other ones are invited too. But you're going to have to come and talk to me. Okay, so, and I, I like I said, you know, we, we, we should all stick together. The, the big channels should support the big channels and the other channels in the medium and the beginners. Because, guys, we all started off with zero subscribers. And a lot of y'all forgot that. A lot of y'all forgot where y'all came from. You know, I've never forgotten where I started. I appreciate it. Yeah, I feel like my channel should be doing better. It should. But I'm not, I'm not unappreciative of where I am. Because I know every time I turn on a cam and do something, I'm going to get my traffic. And I'm going to get my loyal followers, my fans. Some people don't like to, me to call slit of fans. They are slit of fans. I'm a Wolf fan. I'm a Big Tube fan. I'm a Laugh Not Famous fan, Falcons fan, Forever fan, Dylan Blurton fan, GF Sports fan. I'm a, I'm a fan. So I don't know where this laughing at the fact that I say slit of fans. Why? I do have fans. Because I'm a fan. So I hope that clears it up, man. Uh, I expect I expect a good year this year coming up for the Falcons. Can't wait for the, for the draft and the free agent signings and all that. We're already making some changes. It's going to be good. You know, but like Wolf says, and I hope you don't mind if I say it, get your life up, not your likes up. If you get your life better and you get your mind right into the right way, you have a successful life and a successful YouTube channel. Open your mind, open your open your time, open your time and open your heart to legit, to loyalty, to passion and stop being closed minded. But again, that's all for you, you guys to do. I tried. The choice is yours. Sports I have an ATL. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Click all that good stuff. Support it. Have a great Friday. And I'll see you in the next one. Woo!